All right, here we go. What's up guys, it's Kevin, and today we're gonna to talk about web design. I've been doing site design for a few years now. Over the years, I've really been able to kind of streamline my workflow so that it creates a seamless experience for the client. So today I'm gonna to go through and show you how I get websites launched for small businesses. If you just stumbled upon my channel, welcome. My name is Kevin Camus. Uh, I own a creative agency called The Camus Collection. We're based in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we provide website design, photography, videography, and graphic design for small businesses. And I like to make YouTube videos talking about productivity, small business marketing, entrepreneurship, all that fun stuff. So yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button below. It lets me know that you guys like this type of content. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and talk about my web design process. So I actually didn't go to school for web design or computer science. Um, I actually double majored in marketing and general management. And I first learned web design when my family's golf course was in desperate need of a new website. Um, they had one, but it was terribly outdated. It had been built years ago and we weren't really able to get in contact with the designer. So it just had fallen off the map. Um, and they didn't have the budget to hire an agency to build a new one. So naturally I did what I could and I went on YouTube and I looked up how to build a website and decided to give it a shot. I'm really glad I tackled that project. Um, it was a huge learning curve at first, but fast forward a few years and uh, here I am now. You know, my business provides websites for small businesses through my unique subscription model um, that helps small businesses get websites up and running um, without having to pay that large price tag that websites traditionally had. So I'm gonna explain how the subscription model works, but first I wanna uh, talk about how I originally started structuring website deals. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go over to the office for this one. So when I first started doing website design, I would structure the deals in a way where I would design the site, I'd build it, I'd get it up and running, um, and then the client would pretty much just write me a check for the entire price of the project and I would hand over the keys to the website. And the client would kind of be on their own at that point. So, you know, this method worked, um, but I began noticing some issues. Um, I mean, first of all, it placed a large initial price tag on having a website designed. Um, you know, a lot of small businesses just don't have, you know, five grand sitting around to have a website built. And a website's vitally important to a business, but that's a lot of money, especially when they are then going to be responsible for paying for hosting and domain and then any updates that they wanted. So herein lies the second problem. You know, the website was great when I first delivered it and it was good for like a year or so, but what would happen is the business would kind of pivot or they'd start having new offerings and, and the website would not get updated to go along with those new updates to the business. I mean, like the business owner doesn't have the time or skill set to really go in and like mess around with the back end of the website nor do they really want to do that. They have about a million other things that they're responsible for doing, so the website would just sit there and pretty much become outdated. Now, outdated websites are a huge pet peeve of mine. I hate when I'm looking up a business and I go to their website and I can tell that they haven't touched it in years um, because it, I, I just know in my head that this site is outdated and that it's just not an updated representation of the business. Um, I think websites are really all about trust and authority. You know, as a customer, I want to know what this business has to offer and that they're experts in the field. I believe that websites should really be an active element of your business that evolves as your business evolves. When you have new products and offerings, they should be featured on the website. So the wheels started turning, right? I knew there had to be a better way to provide small businesses with websites. Um, see, I wanted to create a long-term relationship with the business so that I got to understand the business um, and so they also were able to text me or email me whenever they needed an update made to the site. Like for example, it could be something like, hey Kevin, we just added a new sandwich to the menu. Can you get it added to the website? Of course. Or it could also be something a little larger, like, you know, hey Kevin, we just started um, selling this new product and we'd like to have a page on the website talking about it. Yes, of course, I'm here to design and publish the page. The point was that the business owner would know that I was here for all their website needs. Um, they didn't need to spend time worrying about the hosting, managing the domain, messing around with the back end of the site, none of that. They knew that I'm here to do anything they need with their website. 
The other important thing to me was that I didn't want hourly pay, invoices, quotes to get in the way of great design. Um, I really wanted it to be a seamless experience for both parties. This right here, this is actually what sparked the idea. Let me explain. I was actually going through the car wash when the idea came to me. My car freaks out whenever I go through here. Car wash subscription, great deal by the way. Having a clean car all the time, wonderful. I should provide websites as a flat rate monthly subscription. Just like a Netflix subscription or a gym membership um, or even a car wash subscription. All right, mind blown, right? So fast forward now, today is November um, 22nd, 2020. I spent a few months like kind of toying with the idea. Um, I wrote up a whole business plan, ran the numbers, and I decided to go for it. I mean, honestly, it's been amazing so far. I've really been able to build uh, relationships with other small business owners and really get to understand their businesses um, and then build them websites that are truly authentic to their brand. So yeah, the website subscription is $195 a month, and that includes includes the total site design, building it, um, and then unlimited updates going forward. Also includes the hosting fees and the domain fees, um, so that as a business owner, you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, you know that I've got it all covered, and that if there's anything you need, you can just email me or text me. When we kick off the project, um, we'll meet for coffee and I kind of start to get to understand your business and learn about what products and services you offer and that is what we use to create the foundation of the website. Whenever I start a new project, I also like to include a free photo shoot. Pretty much just shoot photos of your total operation uh, and then use those photos uh, across the website. There, I'm able to build a framework of the website that pretty much will show the layout of the site. It'll show the different where the different pages are at. Um, and then I'm able to share that live preview with the business owner so that they can click around and kind of see how things are looking. From there, we work together to begin filling in content on each page. Then once all the content's filled in, what we have is pretty much a solid foundation of a website. Um, that features all the core products and services, talks about the company, provides all the necessary contact information that a customer would be looking for. This pretty much allows customers to discover your business, uh, see what you have to offer, and kind of get to know the business a little bit. So from there, we're able to start kind of adding elements onto the business um, that really makes it go from good to great. Over time, the site is pretty much just continuously fine-tuned. This really helps with search engine optimization and ranking on Google. And most of all, it really just makes the website an active element of the business. The website then grows as your business grows. So I build all my websites uh, using Webflow. It's awesome software. The best way I can describe it is that it allows me to build aesthetically pleasing websites that also have good clean code under the hood. So they're high performing websites. They do great on search engine optimization and ranking. I'm able to build fully custom websites that are truly unique to each and every business. Even when I have two clients that are kind of in the same industry, I'm able to create truly unique sites. Um, like for example, I have two clients in here in Grand Rapids that are both um, in the fitness space or personal training studios, but because their brands are different, I've been able to create two totally unique websites. Um, I'll actually link them below so you can check them out. So yeah, I build the sites on Webflow and then host the websites with Webflow um, and then I host your domain through Google. Google and Webflow just pair really well together um, so it makes a truly seamless experience. So yeah, that's my web design process um, and how I provide websites for small businesses through my unique subscription model. So yeah, if you're a small business owner and you're interested in getting a website set up, uh, seriously, shoot me an email. I'd love to get you set up with a subscription and learn all about your business. So yeah, there you go. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this and uh, I will catch you in the next one. See you later.